Okay, question six. Um, Kevin inherited 800,000 and invested full amount at a bank. The bank paid him an interest rate of 8% per annum compounded monthly. 6.1. If Kevin withdrew 120,000 rands from the account one year after making the initial investment, how much was in the account two years after making the initial payment? Um, what we need to know is that um, Kevin inherited 800,000. Okay, so the first step we're going to do here, we're going to draw our our timeline. So at T0, which uh, we know the event that happened, there is 800,000 was inherited by Kevin. And um, at T1, he withdrew an amount of 120,000 rand. So we want to know how much is in uh, the account in two years time so from t0 to t1 a is equals to p into 1 plus i to the power n um, the initial investment is 800,000 into 1 plus interest rate of 0 0.08 divided by 12 compounded monthly to the power 12 times 1 because 0 uh, t0 to t1 then um the amount you're going to get there is going to be 800,600 and so the amount we're going to get is the following 8663.99 Point six. Remember that um, we're having a withdrawal of 200,000 at T1. So we're going to withdraw 200,000. Remember that we're having a withdrawal of 120,000 Rand um, at T1. So we're going to withdraw. 120,000 rand into the account so uh, the amount at T1 is going to be 746399.6 so this is the amount at T1 but we are looking for an amount at T2 so what we're going to do is going to say T1 to T2 a is equals to p into 1 plus i to the power n and uh, p will be the amount which we found initially which is 746399.6 into 1 plus interest rate of 0 0.08 over 12 to the power 12 times 1 because from t1 to t2 is 1 then uh the final answer that we're going to get is the amount of money is going to be 808350.4 at t2 6.2 says that two years after making the initial investment kevin decided to enroll at a university he decided to use the money from his investment to pay for his studies. 6.2.1 Convert the nominal interest rate from monthly to half yearly. Convert the interest rate. What you're going to do, you're going to write the formula 1 plus i effective is equals to 1 is equals to 1 plus i nominal over m to the power m so um what you need to note is we're going to first um identify the effective combined with this 
um, one day, and then we convert the nominal interest rate into um, half yearly. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say 1 plus IEFF for effective into 1 plus the nominal interest rate was given as 0 0.08 divided by 12, which is monthly to the power 12. So if you find um, the decimal of this um, here is going to be 1.082995. So let's say uh, there's 9 there, 50681. So let's consider this um, answer here, 1 plus IEFF, right? So, um, what you're going to do is, we're going to say, okay, fine. So, this portion here is equal to this, right? So, to find the half yearly, we're going to say, but 1 plus IFF is equal to 1 plus is equals to is equals to one plus i half over m to the power m so uh this portion here is equals to this portion there or the number there so it's going to be one plus i half over m to the power m is equals to 1.08 2999950681 so to find the value of m um knowing very well that half means 2 so where does m we're going to put 2 it's going to be 1 plus i half over 2 to the power of 2 because it's half yearly um then 1.08299950681 so uh to find i of half we're going to put the square root on both sides and um it's going to be one plus i half over two equals to 1.04067262223 then you transpose the one to the other side we're going to get i half is equals to 0 0.04067262223 um, then we multiply by two both sides our i half is equals to 0 0.0813 so let me end it uh one three and then because we are looking for a percentage um i half is equals to 8.13 percent so this is your final answer of the problem here so uh 6.2.2 kevin will need to withdraw 95,000 rand every six months to pay off his studies the first withdrawal is at the beginning of the first semester calculate how many complete semesters this event this investment can finance his studies so um we know that um there's um an investment that kevin made for his studies um that he paid which was initially uh at eight zero three uh three five zero point four so this was the in it's actually 808 808350.4 the initial amount that he uh placed um
so um with this initial investment we are told that he made a withdrawal of 95000 so uh 95000 rand was withdrawn in the account so we want to identify um the number of payments that kevin made into uh this uh investment for his studies so uh what basically means that since we have the um, we have the, the the total payment of eight hundred thousand eight thousand and three fifty and an immediate withdrawal so what you're going to do is we're going to use the present value formula of pv is equals to x into one minus p So we're going to use the present value formula, which is equals to x into 1 minus into 1 plus i to the power of minus n divided by i. Why are we using the present value? It is because um, there's a lump sum amount that has been invested and there's certain portions of money that is in a form of income that is received at a certain period of time, according to this problem here so um what you're gonna do is we know very well that pv is equals to the eight zero eight three five zero point four that was invested for his studies kevin invested his amount of money for his studies but we need to remember that he just made a withdrawal of ninety five thousand rand so it changes the, the the pv value right so um what you're gonna do is this we're going to subtract so now P v is equals to 713350.4 so this is now the new present value of the problem so we're gonna say um pv is equals to x into 1 minus into 1 plus i to the power of minus n over i so now we have 713350.4 is equals to our um, withdrawal of 95,000 Rand into 1 minus into 1 plus our interest rate of the problem which is 8.13% um, so which is going to be 0 0.8 which is 0 0.0813 over uh, its compounded half yearly so it's to the power of minus n divided by 0 0.0813 over 2 so um, you don't have to find the final answer now just um, multiply cross multiply so we're going to have 713350.4 times 0 0.0813 over 2 is equals to 95000 into 1 minus into 1 plus 0 0.0813 over 2 to the power of minus n so we're going to divide by 95,000 divide by 95,000 so we will have 7 713350.4 times 0 0.0813 over two, over 2 uh, divide by 95,000 is equals to 1 minus into 1 plus 0 0.0813 over 2 to the power of minus n transpose the one to the other side you're gonna have 713350.4 times 0 0.0813 over 2 divided by 95,000 minus 1 is equals to minus into 1 plus 0 0.0813 over 2 to the power of minus n so the answer that we're going to get 
here is going to be minus 0 0.694761 Eight three, which is equals to minus into one plus zero point zero eight one three over two to the power of minus n. So the minus will divide out. We will remain with zero point six nine four seven six one 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 eight three equals to one plus zero point zero eight one three over two to the power of minus n. Then we're going to use our log uh, to find the value of n. So it's going to be minus n is equal to log of our base, which is 1 plus 0 0.0813 over 2. And multiply by our value of 0. Point, so it's not necessarily multiplying, but it's 0 0.694761183. So if you remember your logs, you know it's log of base multiplied by this value here or it's actually inside the bracket form so uh our solution of n is equals to to minus 9.139979 let me leave it here then you divide by negative one divide by negative one so n is equals to 9.14 thank you so much for watching if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.